All right, thank you for clicking on this video. And today what I'm going to share with you is how to create a simple Telegram bot with Dart. I have with me here a simple Telegram bot. And if I were to write in the word Dart, it will reply a simple image that says this is how the Dart bird and Telegram are met. So let's get on with the video. Special thanks to Paolo Brim who has this video on how to create a Telegram bot with Dart. However, it is in Spanish. So I'm trying to make an English version. So really shout out to him. You can subscribe to him and such. Before you download anything in Telegram or work on Telegram code, you need StakeChain, which is just a Dart project generator. It gives a scaffold for different types of projects that you want. For example, a simple command line, a Dart library, a server, even a 2D animation and games. But we are going to have the console full line application sample. In order for you to use stage hand, first you need to download Dart in your machine. You can use a brew to download the Dart. At the same time, once you have finished downloading Dart using brew, you need to activate this command line, pub global activate stage hand, and this will prompt you to have this export file inside your bash profile or your z shell rc file so add this in file so now just create a folder let's call it telegram bot and then let's go into the folder and type in stage hand console full and this will create a project scaffold inside our telegram bot folder now use any ide to open your telegram bot folder i'm going to use visual studio code i will type in code dot to open my file make sure you update your packages and if you want to go to the bin folder and then dot dot file this is where we're going to put our telegram code inside all right, we have a pub package, which is called Teledart, which is a Dart implementation of the Telegram API. Telegram has its own documentation on the API, and you can just search it up and you could probably find it inside the Teledart package. However, I'm just going to show you a very simple way for you to create a Telegram bot using Teledart. So let's install Teledart. Go to your pub spec YAML file and add Teledart. Once you are done, you can copy this whole code inside your main.dart file. It will look something like this. Let's remove the redundant import. So let's go through this first line. You have a Teledart variable. However, it is being initialized with a token. How are you going to get a token? Well, you need to talk to the godfather. I'm being serious. I'm talking about the bot father. So Telegram has its own bot to create your own bots. Amazing. So in order for you to create a new bot, bot father documented that you have to use this command slash new bot. So let's copy and let's paste it over here. Create a new bot. All right, new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. Let's put in flutter space bot. Now let's use a username. So let's put in Flutter without the space in between, bot. So username has already been taken. Why not we enter this name? Okay, so we have chosen v one bot as our name. And now we can talk to our bot. So Botfather has written us a link for us to talk inside our dart v1 bot so we can click it and then you could see our bot's name over here flutter bot let's click on start all right so we have initialized flutter bot however you can't really do much or have any commands yet so we are going to create some commands simple commands that we can interact with but before that we need the api token so copy this token over here paste your token inside the telegram class Okay, the next thing is that 
Then this will initialize and it says username is initialized and then we can create a command that is called hello and this will reply a message with the message that we say. So let's save this and let's run on debug. Okay, you could see that our username has been printed out over here. Now let's see if our command hello is working. So this means we added a hello command and when we activated the hello command, it will reply a message. So let's see how it goes. Go to your Flutterbot and let's type in hello. And it will reply you with the string world. All right. The next thing that you can do is you can have the bot reply you with any keywords that you have typed in in your message. So let's copy everything over here and let's paste it here. So let's save this. So I will explain to you what this whole line means. So on message with the keyword on dot. So if someone has a message with just one word that says dot and inside the message it contains the word telegram then the bot will reply with a photo. So the photo have a message that it requires. So this org means original message and then a photo. So after it sends you a photo, you can have the bot reply you using the caption parameters. So we have it over here and then let's type in a message. I love dot telegram. So nothing works because there's no hot reload. So the only thing that we can do is to hot restart or restart it. So let's restart it and make sure that we will wait until it says dot v1 bot is initialized. Okay, so I'm going to say I love dot telegram. And there you go. It replies with an image and the caption over here. So that's about it. That is a very simple tutorial on how you want to create a Telegram bot. All right, if you want more on the functionalities of the Telegram bot, you can go to the Telegram documentation and you can look into what different methods it has. And you can also go to the Telegram bot documentation for more. You can actually convert your dot file into a native file for applications or server to run. So you have this command called dot to native. So what dot to native does, it compiles a dot program to a native x64 machine code. So it can be then converted into Windows, Mac OS and Linux, which is pretty cool. So simple command dot to native with your main dot dot file dash o, meaning it will make your executable named as the next word which is dartboard so let's do that so it has created a dartboard executable for us so what we can do is you can just have this command and it will be running on our terminal so that's it thank you for listening on this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you want more of these videos subscribe and if you want any telegram bot with dot functionalities that you want me to go through or explain, leave it in the comments down below. And that's about it. Have a nice day. Stay safe. All the best. Bye-bye.